And I'm uh, starting up the CO2 monitor and the palm. Copy, we're following. And you are looking at views live from the Dragon spacecraft of the International Space Station. The full space station is coming into your view as we speak, and um, the space station is traveling at about 17,500 miles an hour. And as I mentioned, the undock took place this morning at 10.05 a.m. Central, 11.05 a.m. Eastern. And we are just a few seconds away from the next burn. And we receive confirmation of a great depart burn one as Dragon continues to back away from the space station. This departure burn lasted about 22 and, uh, seconds. Station, I'm getting a low battery alarm on, or low battery light on uh, the palm. I'm going to go put in some new batteries. Copy all done. Additionally, for Dragon, departure burn one is complete. Perfect, and you heard that here from our flight director. The first burn, the burn is complete and went really well. As I mentioned, we received confirmation of separation of the Cargo Dragon carrying science and hardware home at 10.05 a.m. Central, 11.05 a.m. Eastern, as the International Space Station and Dragon were flying approximately 260 statute miles over the Pacific. The team will continue to monitor the departure of Dragon as it exits the approach ellipsoid. So we have two physical boundaries around the space station. You can't see them since nothing is physically there to mark them, but it's like a property line of your house. The first is called the keep out sphere, and then further out we have the approach ellipsoid, or the neighborhood of the space station. Here's a good visual representation here on your screen. These are the safety boundaries used in the unlikely event that something goes wrong with the Dragon spacecraft after it undocked. Station Houston on two for Dragon. Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. And we just heard that call out. Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. Good news as we continue to monitor the undocking of SpaceX's 31st commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. You're looking at live views of Cargo Dragon from the International Space Station on its screen as it continues or begins rather its departure to splash down off the coast of Florida. So you can see there um, some of the burns coming through of the Dragon cargo spacecraft, but let's talk. A, let's continue to talk a little bit about the safety zones around the space station that require a set of go and no go poles with different control teams. The first zone I mentioned is called the keep out sphere. It's a zone that consists of an imaginary sphere around the space station with a radius of about 200 meters. The second zone is called the approach ellipsoid. It's an imaginary shape measuring four kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers, essentially a large three-dimensional oval. Like I shared earlier, it's another chance to confirm all of the guidance, navigation, and control systems are working correctly on dragging before it moves away from the space station. And if you are just joining us right now, this is Mission Control Houston here at NASA's Johnson Space Center as we are coming to you live in the International Space Station's flight control room here. We're continuing our coverage for the undocking operations of SpaceX's 31st commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. You are looking at live views of the Dragon spacecraft from the International Space Station as it continues to depart 
the various boundaries that surround the space station. Once Dragon exits the approach ellipsoid, we will be out of joint operations and the SpaceX mission control team in Hawthorne will continue to monitor the rest of Dragon's autonomous flight through Splashdown. Splashdown is Splashdown is scheduled for December 17th at approximately 12:39 a.m. Central, 1:39 a.m. Eastern off the coast of Florida. Meanwhile, Mission Control will continue to monitor the International Space Station operations. And if you are just joining us, we are looking at live views of Mission Control Houston in the International Space Station's flight control room. The Dragon spacecraft is about 480 meters away from the International Space Station. In this short amount of time, the Dragon spacecraft has already moved through three burns. It completed the series of two undock burns, resulting in a physical separation of the spacecraft at 10.05 a.m. Central, 11.05 a.m. Eastern, and has already completed its fir the first, of its de first two of its departure burns. This is the 31st time that a, dragon, a cargo dragon has undocked from the International Space Station. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft supplies cargo to the space station under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services 2 contract. The flight control teams continue to monitor the departure of Dragon as it gets closer to exiting the approach ellipsoid. You are looking at live views of the Dragon spacecraft from the International Space Station as it continues to exit the neighborhood of the International Space Station. That little white dot in the center of your screen is the Dragon spacecraft as it continues to move away from the International Space Station and splash down off the coast of Florida on December 17th.
We're about four minutes away from Dragon exiting the approach ellipsoid. That is the second safety boundary surrounding the International Space Station. The spacecraft successfully undocked this morning at 10.05 a.m. Central, 11.05 a.m. Eastern, as the space station was flying off the North Pacific coast of North America. Almost immediately, the first set of two hooks opened and the second set of two hooks were opened. After that, Dragon completed its two undocking burns. There were short ones, just about 1.5 seconds Houston, and 5 seconds. If you're ready, I'm uh, ready to begin at step 2.3. Almost immediately, okay, I'm moving to two those burns both performed nominally and, uh, and Cargo Dragon also ATA. went on to complete a 16 second departure burn and a second departure burn that lasted about 22 seconds. That second departure burn helped bring the spacecraft through the station's keepout sphere, the first safety boundary around the International Space Station. So as I mentioned, the next milestones that we are looking at, which is coming up in just a few minutes here, um, is the approach ellipsoid exit. The approach ellipsoid is the farther of the two safety boundaries surrounding the International Space Station. The spacecraft is expected to fly outside this marker in just about two minutes from now. So we're just, the Dragon cargo spacecraft is about 800 meters and counting away from the space station. We undocked about 17 and a half minutes ago. And like I said, we're just coming up in a few minutes uh, in our boundary exit. And if you're just joining us live, you're watching live coverage of the 31st SpaceX Cargo Dragon spacecraft departing the International Space Station. It delivered cargo to the folks, folks living and working aboard the International Space Station, and it stayed docked just for just over a month, and it undocked from the port just under 20 minutes ago at 10.05 a.m. Central, 11.05 a.m. Eastern. So that little white dot in the center of your screen that you see right now is of the Cargo Dragon spacecraft as it continues to exit the second boundary or safety boundary surrounding the International Space Station. It is a oval or egg-shaped boundary. And that boundary is called the approach ellipsoid. You're getting closer views of the Dragon cargo spacecraft. It's a little bit bright with the sun shining on it, so you're getting some glare, but it continues to depart the International Space Station. You've got the video of the displays as well, so you can see that uh, all the displays and everything uh, per procedure are as expected.
copy all, Dom. We're checking it out. And we just confirmed. And Don, we're going to use the full Dragon is now over a thousand meters away from the International Space Station. The spacecraft has exited the approach ellipsoid. Four minutes and ten seconds. We've been looking at the weather with a go after watching it all weekend, and we also received a go from Mission Control in Hawthorne and Mission Control in Houston here in the International Space Station's control room to proceed for an undocking this morning. The undock command was sent, and the umbilicals were retracted, bringing the spacecraft to the internal battery power. Then the first two sets of hooks were released. The first set... <coughs> open nominally, committing us to the operation of undocking. And just looking at the procedure, the press means I set this unit aside and I get uh, another unit out, if, if, that, if you concur. The second set of hooks opened up as well, allowing the spacecraft to detach from the Harmony port of the International Space Station. In rapid succession, we saw the undock burns. The first set of two undock burns lasting just over a second, and the second undock burn lasting about five seconds, with both proceeding nominally. In Houston on space to ground two for Dragon. Dragon is outside the approach ellipsoid on a 24-hour safe free drift trajectory.